hey you guys welcome back to another video we are gonna do these toes y'all know that i told y'all that we were gonna do toes this week and i finally delivered i told y'all that i have a pool party to go to tomorrow well it's probably today because i am recording this on friday so hopefully it'll be posted by the morning but I finally did my toes, you guys, and this is what we came out with. So without further ado, is that how you, is, is that what you call it? I don't know, y'all. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Okay, you guys, we are going to, I'm going to take y'all through my left foot because my right foot, I actually recorded it, but I don't think I'm going to put my left, my right foot in this video just because I kind of messed up on that foot. And so I pretty much knew what I was doing on this left foot. So um, it came out a little better and the quality of the video was better because my, I don't, like I, the setup I had to do to record my toes was just crazy and uncomfortable. So I have to find something to do with recording toes because today was not it y'all. Like it was not it. My back was hurting. I couldn't, I kept getting out of focus. I, the picture like, oh my God, y'all, it was just a lot, but we made it through and I got some stuff recorded for y'all. So what I am doing right here is I just laid, I'm doing clear acrylic first off. So when you are doing clear acrylic for toes, you guys, it's a lot harder to pinpoint exactly like where the acrylic is going and the shape of the nail just because the clear kind of blends into your natural nail so this will be a lot easier it would have been a lot easier to do this with a colored acrylic but i didn't want to do that just because i knew that i would probably be changing my toes soon since they since i'm putting rhinestones on these and um i probably won't want to keep the rhinestones on my toes for too long so it'll be easy for me to just file the excess off and um and then redo a whole uh, another set with the fill so if i do choose to do that now with the first bead that i laid down i had to widen it a little bit on the left side because there is no nail there and the reason there is no nail there is because i went to the nail shop and i always get my feet done at the nail shop and the lady like took some of my nail away like was cutting so deep into my nail y'all like that's the story that i had to tell y'all and i'm not even gonna go into depth but just know i am not going back she messed up my toenail and she cut my pinky toe which is healed now so you don't see it but it was on the same foot she like took the buffer the purple rough buffer y'all and put it on my skin like was buffing my skin first of all lady I don't got no bunions so why is it even up there why is it on my skin at all and then secondly what are you doing like what are you doing now I am just consistently like pulling the bead outwards like towards my free edge because I want to extend my nail since I want to make it a little longer than I did my first foot. And here I am just showing you all the consistency of my bead and how small my beads are. I did not use big beads at all. I know some people go in and they do just one bead and that is it but since i this is my first time ever doing these i have never done acrylic toenails um i wanted to go ahead and just ease my way into doing it so i did several beads and i was just working it around trying to see how to extend the nail and i figured it out work with dryer beads you guys always work with dryer beads do not work with wet beads or you are not going to be able to form it like how i am doing right here you see how i'm just like basically molding it into the shape that i want to that is you can only do that with a, a bead on the more drier side i'm trying to make it as square as i can get it before i have to file so when it does come to filing i do not have to do pretty much any work at all it's already going to be in the shape that i want it to be in this bead right here i am putting there to 
um, widen the nail. This is where I do not have any nail on that side. So um, I am widening it, it widening, <laughs> making it wider with acrylic. And um, this is how you do that. If you don't have any, any existing nail in a certain spot, you want to lay the bead pretty dry on the drier side but not too dry to where you can't move it around now not too dry to where it's gonna um it's gonna uh cure in place you don't want that to happen too fast so um use make sure you're working on your consistency of beads and make sure your uh, liquid to powder ratio is on point when doing um acrylic toes it's really not hard at all you guys like acrylic toes are actually easier to me than doing nails like hands so this was super easy it went super fast like i had no issues at all now i will say if i have not said it already working with clear acrylic on your natural nail plate is um a little i won't say complicated because it was still easy however you can't really see like you have to really concentrate to where you're putting the acrylic if you're doing your own nails i feel like it would have been easier if i was doing somebody else's nails because i would have been right up on the nail but since i was kind of far away and looking over and trying to record while doing this it was a little tricky for me to pinpoint exactly where i was putting the clear acrylic because it was blending into my natural nail and then um so it was uh, it will be a lot easier if you're using colored acrylic so next time i will practice with colored acrylic but i wanted to do it this way because i um want to be able to just file everything away and change the polish if i want to or whatever the case may be when i'm tired of these jewels or in rhinestones on them so y'all saw me lay that first cuticle bead and y'all saw the way I smoothed it out and pressed it into the cuticle area and I just smoothed it out making sure that um, it was all laying flat and smooth and there were no lumps or bumps and I also was cleaning up like I'm doing right here. Make sure that you are cleaning up that cuticle area because just like your nails you do not want it to flood and um it is easy to file it down and clean it up but just make sure that you're doing it in this step right here so that it will be easier when it comes to filing and it's just a one two three boom done when it comes to um you having to file now the things i messed up on my first foot were pretty much just the um just doing the French tip, the lines, I ended up making like my second toe line, like how I did my big toe. And that is not um, the look that I was going for. And I didn't feel like changing it. So I actually just kept it and you'll probably see it. Um, if you look again, now that I said something, if you look again at the end when I show you the final look, but um, I definitely made up for it on this foot right here. And everything was just so smooth on this foot um except for well yeah pretty much everything like everything went smoothly i did mess up at the end and i forgot to put the base color down first but that was an easy um correct and i'll show y'all when we get to that step but right here um this part honestly the big toe is what takes the longest for me or what took the longest for me so um right here we're just laying down all the small toes <laughs> all the little piggies and that is it like it's so simple you guys like i said it will be a lot easier if you're using colored acrylic because you can see better as to where the acrylic is going and it's not blending in with your with your natural nail so i do suggest using a colored acrylic versus what i did right here especially for your first time um it will be a lot easier versus doing this way with um clear acrylic but right here i'm just shaping it i'm just molding it as i did the first the first toe um just molding it and pulling it out 
to make it a little longer because my toenail is not that long. So I'm pulling the acrylic outwards towards my free edge and I'm pressing in, in the cuticle area, making sure that it's flat to the nail. I am cleaning up the sides, making sure that it's straight. I'm cleaning at the top, making sure that it's straight so that when it's time, when this dries and it's time to file, I do not have to do anything but make it crisp. That is it. That's all you want to have to do. I just want y'all to know how much I love y'all because it is 2.30 in the morning, Saturday morning, and I have to be up at 9 o'clock in the morning because my son has a basketball game. This is his second to last basketball game. And yeah, we have to be there by 10 or 10.15, something like that. And right after that, I have to get him ready to go to my mom's house because he's spending the day with his grandma. Well, we don't call her grandma. My mom does not want to be called grandma. So we call her Dima, y'all. Like it was this whole thing when I was pregnant. She said that she could not be called grandma. She had to be called either Glamma or Dima. So <laughs> I was like, I'm not having my son call you Glamma mommy like that's not happening so we went ahead and we chose Dima because her name is Deborah so we went ahead and we chose Dima but anyway y'all I have a really busy day today well yeah I would say tomorrow but it's actually today but I really wanted to get this video up because I did not want to neglect y'all um y'all are first priority so um I went ahead and just try to get this out the way and record this since I will not be able to record and do anything today or later today since I will be out partying. Hey, hey. <laughs> Okay, so y'all saw when I put a little extra acrylic up there on the nail, well, it was a little too wet and that's why I was letting it dry. But as it was drying, a little bit fell onto the skin. So just make sure again that you are checking underneath the nail to make sure that nothing is drying on the skin and just put it right back on the nail and flatten it out and you will be good to go. So that is what I did right there. And yeah, just make sure that you are wiping the sides and checking underneath. Now I know y'all are tired of me mentioning this, but I am doing a Q&A um, questions and answers on my 700 subscriber video. So when I hit 700 subscribers, I will be doing that video and I want y'all to leave down below some questions that you have for me. It can be anything under the sun y'all that y'all can ask me and I will be jotting them down and I will be answering those in the video when I hit 700 subscribers, which is like right around the corner. I think we're like at five. I'm recording this and I'm at 593, I think right now. So yeah, y'all, it's right around the corner. It will happen in no time. And um, yeah, so I actually have so many questions already and y'all are giving me some good questions, okay? And a lot of y'all have given me like five questions just from one person. So I have, <laughs> I have a lot to answer and I'm super excited to record this video. Like I like to get to know y'all and that's why I always talk to y'all. I heard, it's a lot of people who hit me up on Instagram actually and they're like, oh my God, like you, um, you actually respond to a lot of questions and you actually like, like take um take the time out to hit us back or whatever and I'm like uh duh like who doesn't do that but apparently a lot of people don't do that I guess when you get a lot of followers it's kind of hard to do that but y'all I don't do anything else except for social media really and I'm always in my phone I know a lot of people are not phone people so that can be part of the reason why they don't respond to you as quickly because a lot of people just don't be in their phone like that. But me, I'm always in my phone. So as soon as y'all comment, unless I'm asleep or unless I'm like out doing something, I hit y'all right back or at least I try to hit y'all right back. So I am very sociable when it comes to social media. Like I love to yap my gums and I love to respond to everybody's comments. So y'all will always get that from me.
Now, if y'all notice, I was pointing to my toe because I wanted to show y'all my toe is just naturally crooked. Like it curves. So um, that is why sometimes my nail will look like it's like slanted, but it's really not. Like my actual toenail grows. It just, I mean, my actual nail just grows in my foot even my toe like my toe in general just goes to the left and then my other one goes to the right so it's kind of weird with how I have to um shape it and I was just showing y'all like how my cuticle area dips as you can see that's what I was showing y'all on my big toe if you saw when I pointed to it but that's I was just trying to show y'all that my toe is just basically naturally curved and so sometimes from different angles it will look crazy so I try to get it as square as I can because that's what looks the most flattering on my toes and yeah that's just what I was doing right here and right here I am just filing all the nails and I am doing of course a square shape because that's what I love to do on my toes and that's pretty much um what everybody gets on their toes everybody loves a square shape on toes and I can't wait to start doing other people's now, I'm not going to be scrubbing nobody's feet now, but I will do their toes. <laughs> I will do their toes. Now, as y'all can see, I'm trying to keep my file as straight as I can. I caught myself on my, I think it was my middle toe kind of curving the file. Do not do that. Keep your file as straight as you can possibly get it alongside of the nail. Just keep it as straight as the nail is or as straight as you want that nail to be. Keep it straight. Do not curve it or your nail will curve at the tip. And that is not the shape that we are going for. So y'all see how that came out? Super crisp, you guys. Like, it was so easy. I literally did not have to do too much filing. Y'all saw how quick that went. Now we are going ahead and I am just taking my 240 sanding man um, and going ahead and cleaning up my cuticle area. Now on my right foot, I cleaned up my cuticle area with my five in one bit. And I think that's what I would um, use on a client if I was doing a client's toes, but I'm not really sure. I kind of like the way this cleaned it up and was super gentle with the nail because you do not want to over file your nail y'all know that when you do toes you're doing them very thin um because it is an overlay and you don't want it to be thick so i did it you don't need to over file do not over file um and i think this was the best choice honestly now that i'm thinking about it i think this would be the best choice to use a 240 sandy man which is very fine grit and it just smoothed it out it didn't do too much it didn't do too little. It was like perfect. And um, so, yeah, I would highly suggest using that to clean up the cuticle and to smooth it out. Now you guys, I'm going ahead and I am taking my sand, my sandy band. I'm taking a Young Nails, um, what grit is that? You know, the different size has two different grits. So I think this might've been a 240 um, or 180 grit. I'm pretty sure it was like a 240 because I was just buffing, pretty much buffing my nail out and making it smooth. Um, that's what I had laying next to me. So that's what I went ahead and used. I always wanted to do this little spray bottle, spray the toes thing. And I thought, I just thought it was so satisfying. So I kept the little clip in here. <laughs> now, right here, as you can see, you see that clear part on my big toe and where my natural nail is underneath it. That is what I was talking about, where you have to pretty much just make your own nail because y'all can see that that clear part is just acrylic there is no nail underneath that and it kind of tricked me out tricked me up because I was like what's wrong with the nail but I realized that um that's how it's supposed to be so only do a only do clear acrylic like this if you are going to be putting something over it 
So for the French tip, I'm going to be using Perfect White by Madame Glam. And I do have a code for 30% off site-wide if you want to use that. I also have the link in my description box, but I will put the code up here um, in the picture for you all. Now y'all, the rest is easy peasy. I promise you all you're doing is making lines. That is it. <laughs> you're pretty much done with it. Um, now, uh, right here, I'm just, okay, so if you know how to do a Frenchie on your nails with the long ones, then this will be super easy because this is just a shorter version of that. Um, I just made a line across and then I am bringing it from the sides and connecting it. And you see how it's a sharp edge? We're just gonna curve that and fill it in. So that's how I went ahead and curved it. I just filled in a little bit of that triangle part in the corner. And that was pretty much it, you guys. So then the next nails, I end up um, just making a straight line across the nail. Now, the part that I messed up on on my right foot is, you see how I did this nail right here? On my right foot, when I did that foot, I did my second toe the same way. So I didn't like how that looked and I never changed it. So you will see that at the end if you look very closely, but I ended up making the rest of the nails just straight across, which is what looks best when you're doing a French. You do not want to do all of them like that curve. I mean, I guess you could, but it just wasn't, it didn't look right to me on my little toes. So I just went ahead and I just made a straight white line across everything and after I did that, I went ahead and I cured that in the light for two minutes. And yeah, so after I did that, I am taking this gel polish that I got off of Amazon. It is this brand that I'm not like obsessed with it, honestly, but I do have it. And I was like, finally, I get to put it to use because this will go perfect with this because I needed something a little clear. I just wanted to give it like a pink tint basically just to make it look like a natural nail but what i forgot to do is i forgot to put this down first before i did my french tip but it was an easy fix y'all we just went ahead and i got some i think it was alcohol or monomer whichever one you have near you just go ahead and clean that off of the tips and let the white shine through again and that is all i did that was all that was to it it was an easy fix there was literally nothing to it Now, after I clean that up, I'm going ahead and I'm using the Young Nails Ultimate Finish Gel. Now, I'm not sure if this is the stain resistant one or if this is a completely different one, but I know Young Nails has this stain resistant top coat that is great if you are doing any Frenchies or anything dealing with white. So this is also the preci precision gel that I got from Dynamic Nail Supply and I have not used it yet. So I wanted to go ahead and try it out for you guys and tell you what the tea is on this. Like, is it messing with McCart? Because y'all know my ride or die is McCart rhinestone glue. Now I had already did my right foot that I told y'all off camera and I had a few mistakes. I want, I should have made the big toe a little longer and the second toe, I kind of messed up with the white line. But anyway, I'm going ahead and, oh, I forgot to tell y'all. Okay, so when I put the top coat down, I did not cure that Young Nails top coat. I did not cure that top coat yet. After I put the top coat on, I went ahead and I put the precision gel directly over it, but do not press the precision gel into it, into the top coat, because you don't want to mess your, um, you don't want to basically contaminate it. But I went ahead and I did that. 
And then I went ahead and I put the jewels on and I pressed the jewels into it so that they could be covered on the side so that they will not budge or move. That is what I usually do instead of doing like, you know how people do the glue bath? That's pretty much what that is, but it's just one step instead of two. So I'm going ahead and I'm cleaning off all the glue, all the gel, whatever is on my toes after I put the rhinestones on. And I kind of just flew past the rhinestones because they're um it's the same the same steps that I do to apply any rhinestones and you can apply them however you want to that is just how I apply them so it went pretty fast and I am just cleaning up all my toes you guys and that was pretty much the end of it I did go ahead and I added a little bit of white at the top of my nail because it was like really irritating me that I didn't have um, it all coated. But after that, I did that, it was bomb, you guys. Like so cute. I'm so happy with how these came out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn your notification bell on because y'all know I'm always doing uploads. I do about three to four uploads per week. I'm not a one week type bitch, okay? <laughs> but um or one week no I didn't mean to say that see this is why I need to get off here you know what I'm, I'm gonna just get off here and let y'all go I love y'all thank you for tuning in and I will see y'all in the next video all right bye